Hello everybody, I'm in Builder's Edition 3 Creative Mode, or BE3-CM, however you want to say it. And I just wanted to show you how far I've gotten on my little cabin here. So, um, I've had a lot of fun. I've been bouncing around games again. And of course I keep going into the regular Builder's Edition. But um, I did inlay my windows. <clears throat> And um, the way I did that, just in case you want to do something where you're putting one blueprint inside of another, just use, um, I don't know, maybe I did show, just use some, I usually use tiles because they're flat and they have the different sizes, but uh, let's see, a two by two, and basically what I would do is I'm, I would mark where I want to put it, whether it's on the side or on the bottom or on the top. And then I would go ahead and put the uh, take the window out with my with my glitch tool and put the new get rid of that put the new window in and um, and there you go and then whenever I reloaded I had both of them there so that's how I did that and I love the glitch tool because I'm able to put walls next to each other that are different sizes uh, just to give you an idea go not over here let's go over here I just did some little bitty rooms and I had to make things fit um, this is a good example over here oh, let's just uh, let's go through the door okay so over here I had to use the glitch tool and take out the corner this little spot here which I'm not gonna do I'm actually going to move it just for a moment let me get up there Let's just move it. So I had to take that out because I put this little wall in. Otherwise, I would have had to put in the the little uh, the logs one each at a time, and that would be time consuming. Which I did do around the windows, like on this side. I had to put one here and one here, and then dee dee dee, and that's fine. But because the glitch tool allows me to like whenever it's only three blocks across. I can put, take out one wall and put another. So anyway, so get the glitch tool game pass as soon as you get a chance, if at all possible. I recommend it. And I haven't really had any call for needing my uh, my repaint tool, except for on this, I accidentally made it with the wrong color block, so I could change it. That came in handy. So this is my build. I called it my log cabin, but a friend of mine came in and said, that is not a cabin, that is a mansion. So I may be off on the size of what a cabin should be. But basically what I have is I have a main bedroom with its own bathroom. I have another big bedroom for whoever, a little hallway that goes to both. Both of them have closets. I might take that door off the closet, I don't know. And then over here I have this really cool little washroom area. I like this. It has a laundry room, the hot water heater, a little place to wash your hands, some shelves for your soaps or towels or whatever. And then I have a little cabinet there I was playing because it has a new blueprint with the glass windows. I had to check that out. And then this is the main bathroom of the cabin for everybody to use. And then I haven't finished, but this will be my kitchen and dining area. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I don't know how I'm, I really want to do this area. I keep putting it off. I might do the kitchen on this side and the dining on this side. I don't know because I keep looking at this space. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I know this is definitely going to be the living area but I'm not sure about how to do the kitchen and dining area, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this space over here. And then over on this side, I have created like bunk rooms, basically. Um, so I've got four of them, and I have enough room here. I'm gonna, head, gonna go ahead and do the, uh, the fifth one, and I'll have like five little bunk rooms. And, um, and that's kind of cool. And then, I'm not sure, 
I'm still playing with it. I might take this wall out and make this whole area the dining area. That might be good. Just have the four bunk rooms. Huh. I'm still playing with it. Still playing with it. So, if you have not played Builder's Edition Creative Mode, you should check it out. Because it, it is definitely... Uh, I love it. I don't have to go out and do stuff. I have all my shopping, all my wood, I have all my blueprints, and I can fix stuff with my game passes. And that's the way a building game should be. I can get rid of this. I have my helmet if I need light. I couldn't find it in the uh, in the store whenever I first got it. Oop, didn't need to move it. I just want to use it. There we go. So there you go. I don't know what to do now. I have to play with this. That's as far as I've gotten. Let's see. Let's see what I can make. So we need to rotate this face front. I like having a window to look out of whenever you're dealing with a sink. And then we'll make the cabinets. Limestone. See the limestone and the other one is fairly new. Basalt. Hmm, let's try this one. Let's, let's see how this one looks. There, that there. I got off center somehow. Let's fix that. I haven't built on uh, on camera in a while. Don't really know what to talk about now because this is such a new game and this is my first build on it. That does not look pretty, does it? Wait, why is that different? Let's get rid of that one. Actually, it's not too bad. Oh, I chose limestone, didn't I? We bust salt. Get up there. Did I choose the wrong wood? I may have chosen a different wood. There we go. Ta da! I'm gonna have to play with this one. Not sure how to do my kitchen. Because I haven't finished putting up the walls. Why did you twist on me? No, it, okay, it didn't. There we go. Okay, it's go. It's right, it's right. So... I'm gonna play with this and figure out exactly how I want my kitchen to go. I could put another cabinet, maybe a thin one? So it doesn't look so funny. Eh. I've lost my bus halt. Bus halt. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Basalt. Beige. I think I'll play the ceiling beige. Okay. There we go. That's kind of cool. That doesn't look bad. 
Woohoo! So maybe I could do. Where'd it go? I know it's right here somewhere. Really? I lost it. Oh, there it is. Maybe I can do this. Go ahead and put the countertops on with the basalt so that it blends. Basalt. Funny wood. didn't plan on building while I was recording, so I hope this turns out okay. Those are walls from those that I did. One more. Yeah, I'm kind of glad that I lost my old videos. Some of them I wish I could have re-uploaded, but I started thinking about it and it was all whenever I first started building and there was a lot. It was a lot. But I am sad for losing almost 300 subscribers. Alright. There we go. I have the beginning of a kitchen. I can go ahead and set up a little area here is kind of like a breakfast area. Oops. Maybe a little place to have coffee. And breakfast. Let's go with these chairs. This is going to look. Let's see how it fills in. Well, that's not bad. That's kind of nice. All right, there we go. We have a beginning. There we go, I have the beginning of a kitchen. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with the idea of putting my dining area on the side over here. Um, oh yeah, I still gotta put in a stove. Maybe not. Let's see. I didn't think about appliances. We can put this here. Um, let's move the refrigerator. We want it near the stove, but not next to it. Is that the right way? Yeah. I'll put one more cabinet in. the divider. With 
my basalt. Is that how you say it? I'm gonna have to look that up. Google it. Oops. Back in my day, we didn't have Google. I wonder if anybody uses encyclopedias anymore. Or if they even know what they are. Alright. Oh. Microwave. What to do with the microwave? Let me put it down here. Is it facing the right way? I think it is. Let's get up there. Get it up there. Can you go back? Can you go back? Nope, it's facing the wrong way. There we go. If you could back up just a smidge. Maybe not. I guess that's as far as it goes. Wow. Hmm, I don't know if that's a good idea. We're gonna have to make a different counter for you. Or I could put it over here. No. Put it over here. No. Alright, we're gonna have to make another counter. To put the micro microwave. And uh, basalt. basalt. That is much better. And it gives a little counter space to put stuff. Alright, we have a beginning. Where to put a clock? Clock. Well, right by where you're baking, of course. So it can get nice and greasy. Then you have a dishwasher, which will go down here in the corner. And it shall have a countertop also. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. There you go, my kitchen. Of course, it's not 100% complete. But it is a beginning. Matter of fact, that's a good place for the coffee pot for now. I might put one more little spot here. And maybe one or two more cabinets. A lot of counter space and then I'll put my little dining area right here let's see that's not blueprints let's use a little round table ah, that's too small let's use a better table furniture we will use Let me see how this one looks. Perfect. Ta da! And then the chairs. The chairs. 
We can use a basic chair. I think a basic chair would be good. You can't sit in the fancy chair. The kitchen chair isn't too bad. Let's see that. Tape. Red tape. There we go. This is looking nice. Um, do I want beige? It's a pretty dark wood. I don't want koa, so let's go ahead and go with beige. There we go. Ta-da! Building magic in progress. Don't know that I want my coffee pot on top of the dishwasher, so I am gonna have to put one more cabinet. Goes into some cycle and there goes your coffee pot onto the floor. Salt. Alright, this is gonna look pretty good. Oops, wrong button. Move this next to it. Not bad. Should move it back though. Alright. Maybe I won't put a cabinet up top. I think I'll just leave it like that. Put a couple of pot coffee cups over here. Let's go to coffee mugs. Black mug, blue mug. Let's get two of each. You would think it'd be easier in the box, but sometimes no. No, it is not. Okay. One more time. There we go. Life. Da da da. Lock. Da da da. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of editing because I am well over the 15 minutes I like to allot for myself. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of whatever it is that I'm doing. So this is Builders Edition 3 Creative Mode. I am Amarox. I hope you have a good day and a better tomorrow.